In this video, we will show you how to identify the European earwig and how to distinguish it from the common brown earwig. Although there are other earwig species found in Australia, the European earwig and the common brown earwig are two of the more common species found in broadacre crops in southern Australia. The European earwig is native to Europe, West Asia and Northern Africa and has spread to several continents, including Australia. In Australia, it is now widespread throughout areas of Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia, Southern New South Wales, and Southwestern Western Australia. No-till practices and stubble retention likely provide a more favorable environment for the European earwig. Adult European earwigs are smooth, flat, and elongated and they grow to 12 to 24 millimetres long. They are mostly dark brown in colour, with yellow fawn shoulders and legs. Earwigs have chewing mouth parts, bead-like antennae, and two pincers on the rear of their body. Males have long, curved pincers, while females have straight pincers. Although they rarely fly, European earwigs are winged. They have one pair of short hardened forewings and a second pair of soft hind wings which are usually not visible. The European earwig reproduces sexually with males and females mating. It is likely that this takes place during summer. Adults are present all year round and females usually lay their main brood of eggs in May. Only one generation develops each year. However, a second brood of eggs may be laid in late October. Eggs normally hatch by the end of May and juvenile European earwigs independently start feeding on the crop from late May to June, often causing severe damage to the closest plants to the nest. By November, the juveniles start molting into adults, at which point they disperse from the paddock and then repeat the process the following year. The European earwig goes through four instars before becoming an adult. Nymphs are similar to adults in appearance, except they are smaller, paler and their wings are not fully developed. The European earwig can attack a wide range of broadacre, horticultural and ornamental plants. Canola is one of the more susceptible broadacre crops. Damage appears as irregular shaped holes in leaves or shredded foliage. European earwigs often completely sever the stems of canola seedlings. Research has shown that juveniles, as well as adults, can cause feeding damage to crop seedlings. The European earwig can also feed underground on germinating seeds. There is the potential for broadacre crop damage throughout the entire year, but this risk is highest when the crops are at their vulnerable seedling stage and when the juvenile earwigs are developing. Symptoms of earwig feeding can resemble damage by the black Portuguese millipede, slaters, snails and slugs. If you suspect earwigs are responsible for damage found, it's best to inspect paddocks at night with a torch or use shelter traps to confirm their presence. To make a shelter trap, place tiles or hessian bags on the soil surface and inspect underneath for earwigs a few days later. Rolled up pieces of corrugated cardboard can also be placed in the paddock to trap earwigs. The common brown earwig is a native Australian earwig, which can be confused with the European earwig. It is important to be able to tell these two species apart, as the common brown earwig is not regarded as a crop pest. In fact, the common brown earwig has been identified as a beneficial predator of soft-bodied pests such as Halicoverpa caterpillars. The adult common brown earwig is generally larger than the European earwig, reaching up to 30 millimeters in length, but it's the orange inverted triangle behind the head and on the wing case that most readily distinguishes the common brown earwig from the European earwig. Another feature which can help to tell these two earwig species apart is their social behaviour. While the European earwig is a social insect and is found congregating in large groups, the common brown earwig is more solitary and is often found on its own. 